I'm telling you this up front. The NAACP were not like most lawyers. We only represent innocent people, people accused because of their race. That's our mission. You understand? So I need to know this. Look at me now. Did you do what they said you did? I never touched that woman. Is there any more pressure on you as an actor when you play a man that was a great man? Uh, yeah. To get it right? No, there's unbelievable pressure, especially because um, his daughter, uh, his real life daughter, Laura Friedman, was so heavily involved in the process. And so it became incumbent on me to do her father justice, mm -hmm. to make sure that I was telling a version of this story that honored his legacy. And anytime you're doing anything with a biographical intent, you, you sort of have this obligation to, to honor the individual, and, and that was very important to me mm -hmm. in this case. It had to be in your research extremely important to Sam, who at first was concerned with himself and his family, which he should have been, until he met Thurgood Marshall. That meeting and working with him in that, that case had to change his, whole, his entire life. Yeah, and in many cases it did. I mean, it, it certainly brought worldwide, if not uh, national, attention to uh, Sam Friedman as a lawyer. And, and this alliance is indicative and symbolic of so many uh, similar alliances that were taking place at that time mm -hmm. uh, between uh, African Americans and Jews. And this movie, I think, speaks to that as well in a way that feels very unique and fresh. Of course, he certainly was no stranger to prejudice and hatred because he was living through it with his family in Europe at that particular time. And, the, of course, the prejudice against the, uh, the, uh, the Jews in Europe was, went back hundreds of years. I think that there's so many similarities between um, these two men. Uh, between Sam Friedman mm -hmm. and Thurgood Marshall. And just because one is being discriminated against because of the color of his skin and one is being discriminated against because of his faith, the discrimination knows no boundaries. It, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have favorites. It doesn't pick favorites. And these two men, although they're on different paths, uh, those paths are bound to intersect. And, and that's where our story picks up. Don't miss Marshall. Believe me, I can't wait till I see it again. And this gentleman's performance is as good as it gets. Thank oh, you. Thank you so much.